Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I'm with my buddy Alex today, and we are standing in front of a spinner machine. Now, spinner's been around since 1949, but it's only recently been reintroduced here in the U.S., and I think it's important to understand that because here we are today with Alex, and we have a great success story to tell with you, but I want, or to share with you, but I want to first talk about where the confidence came from to implement a machine that's not as widely known and really we're creating this awareness because we know since 1949 ultra precision but only being reintroduced since 2021 here in the US. What gave you the confidence to jump in? And then we'll talk about the successes that you've created but what gave you the confidence to jump in? Uh, we really like the uh, design of the machine and the layout where the chips have a free flow to the you know, that's like a straight down instead of a vertical or a slant bed. So we like that. Um, it was also being sold through a dealer that we're used to, Hales Machine. So we, we've got a lot of experience with them in the past. So we had, you know, successes there and we just like the way the machine was laid out. I mean, that makes sense to me, Alex. And when I hear you say, and I know I've talked to you this, about you with this off camera as well. Hales. Hales is important. You've worked with them for a long time. And the reason I bring that up to the audience right now is because relationships matter so much in this business. Service and support and knowing that you've been with Hales allowed you to go, okay, if you're recommending this, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to bring it in. So now you have it in. Now you have it running. And I believe you've been doing this similar operation for many, many, many years and recently it went from turning to milling to finishing and you were able to combine all operations on this three turret machine. Am I correct in that thinking? Yep. Yeah, so we've been doing this part for many years and we were previously doing it on a multi-spindle screw machine for the rough turning and then after that it went over to a horizontal mill and got a bunch of drilling work done to it and some milling stuff as well. And then after that, we had to get it ground on our sinless grinder to get a complete part, so. And now we're looking at taking those three bits, putting them together. There's just all sorts of value in being able to do multiple things on one machine. I'm looking around here, and you have a ton of machines in here. So whether you're limited on space or whether you're not, you're saving real estate, you're saving time, you're saving money by being able to do everything in one machine, right? Yep. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, we've been on kind of, uh, with all of our machines, we've been trying to get it to where we have to handle the parts less and just hogs less space, having less uh, machines around, and yeah, it seems to be a lot more efficient for us to not touch it at all if we can. <laughs> oh, and think about some companies out there that do have to do this on three different machines. Now we're talking about the investment of three different machines in maintenance, in tooling, in floor space, all of that goes in. So we're constantly talking about efficiency, effectiveness, and productivity. So I look back here and I see a big old bar feed as well. So this is coming from raw blank and then it's a finished product as it leaves this machine. Yep, yeah, we're loading in 12 foot bars of material and spitting out completely done parts so we can ship to our customer. Well, everyone who's watching right now can tell that you're a lot taller than me, which means you're probably a lot stronger than me as well. And <laughs> you might be able to lift this bar feed and put it in there. And I don't see any cranes while looking around. And yet when I walked up here, I saw somebody that's probably stronger than me to be fair, but maybe not as strong as you. How do they load this machine to prepare if there's no cranes in here? Well, with the new Iamca bar feeder that we have, it has a cart that you can just load on the material with a forklift and then just wheel the cart over to the machine. It locks into the bar loader and you can just roll the bars right into the bar loader without ever having to lift them. So pretty much our kids could do it. Yeah, it's super easy. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so when we're talking about German engineering and German precision and going in with a brand that's a company you trusted that you've worked with for a long time, I think about automation and how important automation is and what you described to me says, I can walk away from this machine and I'm gonna trust that good parts are gonna come off every single time. Is that the case as well right here with this machine? Are good parts coming off all the time without having to worry about you know, making internal adjustments in the machine, making offsets? Are you getting good parts all the time? 
yeah, it's been running really good. Um, it's still pretty new here, but we're we've been working out a few uh, tooling issues and stuff. But other than that, it's been holding everything really good. So it so far it's working out. Is this safe to say, Alex? As I look around here. I almost want to sing that song, I'm blue. There's a whole lot of blue here, right? Is yeah. this safe to say that with the success of this machine and combining operations that you're looking into the possibility of implementing more of these in the future in your shop? Yeah, we have, right now we're one, running one part in a family of parts. Um, so we're hoping to be able to expand and get the other parts in that family run on some more spinner machines in the future. and. Well, I'm going to have you make a deal with me if that's all right. And we're on camera and we're recording. But as you get more machines in here, I would love to be invited back to continually hear your success stories. Because I know you are a third generation family owned business, just like Spinner being a third generation family owned business. And I would love to continue sharing your successes with our global audience. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. Well, Alex, <laughs> I appreciate your time. You're a good man. Thank you for letting us yep. share this story with the world. Yep, thank you.